I guess it all began when um, I met a young man at MIT who, um, for some reason or other, wanted to marry me. And I felt at that time, I said, well, no, I, there are really too many other things I want to do besides getting married. And he said, what are they? And I said, well, I'd like to live in London and I'd like to study astronomy, and I'd like to get a PhD. And he said, marry me and you will do all those things. And I did. I'm probably the first person to ever have gone from the United States to foggy London to study astronomy, but that was all right. I did, it. I did another bachelor's degree at University College in the observatory at Mill Hill. Then I got the degree and Eventually, well, I went to the physics department to uh, finish my degree. And the physics department, with Mike Seaton, my supervisor, had very close relations with Jilla. And I think I was one of three students there who eventually came to Jilla. That was um, the best move that I think I could have made. I was there, it was doing um, helioseismology, looking at uh, waves in the sun in order to study the structure. A around 1980, I think it was, NIST really decided it was focusing more on support for industry and not astrophysics. And so while I was certainly still tolerated, I didn't see that my career was going to thrive. And I took an opportunity to come here to the to the program office and that was a whole new world I didn't know anything about that and then one night Don Johnson who was head of what was then the National Measurement Laboratory and Ray Camry the deputy director asked me if I would like to go out for a scotch and they knew me well who would turn down the scotch and they said asked me after two scotches would I go out and be the division chief for the quantum physics division, which was this part of, of Jilla. And of course, after two scotches, I'd say yes to practically anything, and I did. Even though I woke up that night and pulled the covers over my head and think, what have you done, Catherine? But so I did. I, I went out there, and I think I, that was where I guess I, I really learned about management in, indirectly. Part of my job was just showing how whatever they wanted to do would fit into the mission. Plant them, give them the resources they need, and let them run, and it never failed. They were very patient and very good about explaining to me what they were doing, and that in itself was quite thrilling to have, to watch them. And, and I learned a great deal of, of physics that I wouldn't have known otherwise. So it, it, was, it was just as much fun for me, certainly. Met a lot of interesting people. What would I tell somebody who wanted to know about Catherine Gebby? That she was thrilled to have the opportunity to work with the people that she had brought on and and somehow retained.